Okay, so today is March 11th. 11th. Thanks for pointing that out. Goodness. It's my handwriting. It's yeah, terrible. It just, <laughs> it looks like March 18th, and I knew that wasn't right. Well, we had an early drive. We had to get up and drive from Runwick, which where we were doing wine tasting, back to Nelson to catch our flight to Auckland. So what we were like an hour and a half on the road yeah and i wanted to say you know renwick is in the marlborough valley so mm -hmm. we drove along in the valley and then as we went into the mountains that separated us from from nelson, nelson uh it was it was really neat because there was all this low-lying fog down through the valleys and mm -hmm. we drove into that fog and worked our way up uh the mountainside to above the fog. Mm -hmm. And the roads were as they are in many places in New Zealand, narrow and windy. You know, you really have to watch. Yeah, but we we drove past Havelock, the muscle capital, Yeah, and there were all these signs up uh, because it was the um, it was the the, the festival yeah. was starting right the muscle and, festival and uh, yeah and and then um, we yeah we got to to Nelson Fine we we turned in our car mm -hmm. at the airport which was really easy we just parked it and threw our key into a box yeah. Uh, we had an uneventful flight up to Auckland, a little mm -hmm. bumpy in places. A little places. bumpy in places, yeah. Um, and then in Auckland, we went to Juicy, um, which is a mostly rents camper right. vans, right. but now they're renting cars as well, and rent, rented this little Suzuki. Mm -hmm. It's pretty old. I mean, it's got a couple hundred thousand kilometers on yeah. it. And it's this tiny car. We couldn't fit our suitcases in the trunk, so we had to fold down the rear seats and drove off. Mm -hmm. um, we, we got a little ways out of town and decided that we were hungry. And so we stopped at Pocano, is that it? Oh yeah, Pocano Bacon. Because <laughs> we thought, well, let's not stop at McDonald's. Let's try Pocano Bacon. And, um, you know, it seems like it'd be more local. So we ordered a BLT with avocado, B-L-A-T, and avocado. Mm -hmm. And uh, they brought it, we decided to split it so that we could, wouldn't get so full for dinner because it was a late lunch. And when they split it, they split it and Jim took half and I took half. And my half had two little pieces of bacon in it and half of a thin slice of tomato and a little bit of avocado and Jim had this mouthful of bacon uh, in his half. Yeah. You, <laughs> the New Zealand bacon style is yeah. undercooked. Okay? Yeah. And so it was a big glob of hot grease in there. <laughs> I bit into it and I burned the hell out of the top of my mouth. Um, <laughs> Yeah, the bacon here is uh, not what we're used to. I mean, it's it's got a lot of meat in it, but they don't make it um, crispy. crispy. So, it's, you know, to me, not that great. And they, they cooked up this bacon from raw. They to, did. They, right there. It was good bacon, but yeah. Anyways, so I have my mouth all burned up. <laughs> And then we 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 uh, drove on, yeah, because uh, it was a couple hour drive to Waitomo, mm -hmm. and we stopped in a place to use the toilets. Great public toilets. Mm -hmm. um, the town was called Pirogia or Prosia, something like that. Um, yeah. After this volcano that's there, um, inactive. It's, um, and we were reading signs about the founding of the town. Yeah, that part was really quite interesting. The uh, town, there was, a, they call them pas, there was, a, there was a Maori pa near that town, 
or near the location of the town. But then they sent the um, army to uh, set up, what did you call it, a garrison? They called it a garrison city because it was set up to, to protect the European settlers. And basically they took a lot of the land of the Maori in that area and garrisoned the troops around the European settlers so that they could farm and things like that. So um, yeah. and they, that was the origin of that city. They, they fought the, the Maori for 17 years yeah. uh, until the Ma Maori finally laid down arms in 1881. Mm -hmm. um, Anyways, then, then we continued on our drive mm -hmm. to, to Waitomo, went, went through the little crossroads that, that it is, and went to our Airbnb, mm -hmm. which was a really cute little farm. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly they, they, they grazed cattle. Mm -hmm. They grazed young cattle for the uh, farmers that do uh, milk production. So the young cattle take a lot of the feed and the farmers make more money if they're just farming their, um, the, one, the cows that are producing milk. So they take the cows when they're about four months old and pasture them until maybe they're two and then they send them back to the farmer. Right. So. Um. So, so they don't have to milk anything. They don't have a barn because the weather is sufficiently right. temperate. Right. Uh, so they just have these grazing cattle mm -hmm. there, which makes it pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Their other income being renting rooms to tourists mm -hmm. who just kind of graze as well. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, we had a very, very pleasant talk uh, with the couple that run, runs the place. Uh, we wanted to go out to dinner, so we went to the Posh Cafe, the Hoo Hoo, but we couldn't get in. And mm -hmm. so, along with everybody else, we went to the Tomo Pub. Yeah, and there were all kinds of people showing up trying to get food there. Uh, and at first they said, well, no, you can't, we can't handle it. But then they did let us order. Right. So. So we quickly ordered a couple of hamburgers, which we had to wait a long time for, like an hour, I think. Mm -hmm. So we ended up drinking beer and, and watching a lot of rugby. <laughs> yeah. Rugby is a pretty interesting sport. Yeah, it's really physical and lots of blocking and tackling and wow. Yeah. Very physical, interesting. Well, then we got our hamburgers, and of course they were kiwi hamburgers. So they had beetroot and tomato, jam, not tomato jam, yeah, tomato tomato relish, relish on them. Yeah. I, I took the beetroots out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, but. Anyways, <clears throat> and then we went back and, and, and uh, got to bed early that mm -hmm. night mm -hmm. because we were going to have an eventful day the next day. Right. Hey, I think that's it. Okay. Okay. Love. Love. Bye. Bye.